Hey guys, I'm outside of 308 Clare Court. It's in a cul-de-sac here in Dallas Downs, which is right off of Mac Hatcher, which is that loop around Franklin that we talked about that's three quarters of the way complete. All brick home, mostly all the bedrooms are on one level. The only thing above the garage is a bonus room, that window there. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, or I said, sorry, two full baths, 2170 square feet. That's 2,170 square feet. It's listed for 575. It's the second day on the market. Got a few steps into the house here. Nice little front porch. Some mature trees in this neighborhood that have it's been around for quite some time. Natural wood door. Some wood flooring in here as you walk into the foyer and then into the living room. So from here, you've got the living room and then you've got a little eat-in area over here next to the kitchen. The kitchen opens up a window. And then you've got tile in the kitchen out here. So a good size room here for your family room. And then to the right are the bedrooms. This is the little eat-in area from the kitchen. Opens up into the kitchen over here. Granite countertops, tile, white cabinets, white appliances, double basin sink. Looks like it's an eight inch deep dishwasher. Little cubby for your appliances. Little bay window here. It goes into the laundry room. You've got gas or electric for your dryer. Hookups for your washer. Windows look fairly new. This house was built in 1995. So off the kitchen here is the, are the stairs that go up to the bonus room right there. And underneath this bonus room is the two car garage. Bonus room says that it's 20 by 18. So it's a good size space up here. You've got pergo floors up here. So a composite flooring made to look like wood. Little storage closet here, stairs down. And a kind of a coat closet, another storage closet there. Air conditioned up here, cookups for your TV. Good bit of space here, upstairs. Downstairs, out through the kitchen. So over here, you got a coat closet, and you've also got the garage. So a two car garage down in here, just a few steps to get down in here. Got a little storage area there. Access to the crawl space is down here. Got a pedestrian door out to the side yard. The ceiling is about nine feet in here. Looks like a fairly new water heater. One thing uh, about this is, is obviously it's not staged, doesn't have any furniture in it, so it's hard to get some scale to how big these rooms are. But this is one of the bedrooms. This one looks like it's 15 by 14, walk-in closet over there. And then the bathroom. Tile flooring, tile for all the shower area. You've got a bidet and a toilet. So this is the master and it's 14 feet by 15 feet wide. I know we prefer hardwood in these rooms. Another bedroom across the hall. This guy is 11 by 10. 
overlooks the front porch and then the front yard. Good sized closet. Got the other full bath in here. Same tile in here. Linen closet, shower. That is a drop-in uh, fiberglass shower. And then the, the, the room here in the back is 12 by 11. We have closet, again, overlooking the front yard for that. It does have a little linen closet there. Some built-ins, not enough built-ins for all the books you guys have, but most of the living is on one floor, which is great. You've got this nice patio out here, concrete patio, nice mature trees back here. Obviously they lost other leaves, but that is Mac Hatcher that you see traffic going by. Um, it's a Sunday afternoon, so that it's not gonna have as much traffic as it has normally. So I would say that's a drawback is that it's that close to the street. Pretty good sized patio back here. Put your grill and put a table out here. That is 308 Claire Court.